I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an application of polynomial equations and this particular question had been in test paper a couple of times so I like you to pause the video copy the question answer and then look into my suggestions the question here is an isosceles triangle has a base of 6 meters and height 4 meters find the maximum area of the inscribed rectangle so we are given an isosceles triangle that means two sides are equal and that is the inscribed rectangle we need to find maximum area of the rectangle that can be inscribed within this triangle to begin with let me drop a perpendicular from the vertex right so i'm just dropping a perpendicular since this is isosceles triangle this perpendicular is going to divide the base into two equal parts, right? What are we given here? We are given that the base is 6 meters, so we are given this is 6 meters, right? And the height is given to us as 4 meters. Let me write down here, the height is 4 meters. We need to find maximum area of this rectangle. So let us assume that uh, a point here is, or let us say the, the dimensions of this rectangle are uh, length be 2x, so x this side and x this side. So let us say the dimension of the rectangle is 2x, that's the, the length, and let the width be y. So this width be y. Let us assume that. So what we have considered here is that rectangle has length equals to 2x and width equals to y right so in that case area will be equals to length into width right length into width that means 2x times y so that is going to be the area we need to maximize this area now to maximize we have two variables we should write these variables in terms of one another so that we could write equation of area in terms of one variable so that's the whole idea how can we do that well we can do with the help of similar triangles let me label this triangle let's say this is a b c let's call this point as d e uh, okay d e f g more important for me are these two points right so let's make them p and q okay so what you notice here is that this big triangle abq is similar to the small triangle adp so what do we notice here is that the triangle abq is similar to the triangle ad Since this is a rectangle, these sides are parallel, correct? So, so the angles are same and that is 90 degrees. This is also 90 degrees, correct? So we have from two ways. These two are similar triangles. Since they are similar triangles, ratio of their sides should be same, right? So we can write that AQ over BQ should be equal to AP over DP, right? Over DP. Now, what is AQ? AQ is given to us as 4 meters, so I write 4. BQ is half of 6, so right? So, this is 3. BQ is 3 for us. So, that is 3 for us. AP, A to P. Since this height is Y, AP will be 4 minus Y. So, this height will be 4 minus y since y is the width of the rectangle is that okay so ap is 4 minus y and dp is x for us okay we have taken length of the rectangle as 2 times x from symmetry x on this side x on the other side now this equation helps us to write x in terms of y so we'll cross multiply x equals to 4 over 3 times 4 minus y do you get it so we got x in terms of y. 
Now, let's get back to the original equation. Let me write this as equation 1. So, area, we're saying area is equal to this. I'll replace this x here with this expression of x. Let me call this as our equation number 2. Okay, let me write this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Okay, so we'll sub equation 2 in 1. So, what do we get? So, we get area as equals to 2 times x value is 4 over 3. I'm sorry, when we cross multiply, it should have been 3 over 4. Okay, let me change this. So, when you cross multiply, it should be 3 over 4, right? I did a mistake. So, it is 3 over 4, right? Times 4 minus y. So, that is the x value and we have y also here. So, y. So, that becomes the area. Now, this area is in terms of y. So, I could also write this as a as a function of y. Do you see that? Now, let me divide this, simplify it a bit. We get 3 over 2 times y times 4 minus y. Is that okay? So, that becomes the area. We need to maximize this area. Correct? So, you will notice that if I take minus common, I get minus 3 over 2y times y minus 4. The only purpose to rewrite this equation with minus here is to remind you that it is like a parabola, right? Opening downwards. Do you see that? Where it has two zeros. Correct? And those two zeros are where? Zeros are at 0 and 4. So let me just uh, kind of make a sketch for this parabola. So these zeros, as we notice here, will be at 0 because of this, right? And because of this factor at 4. How can I get maximum area? It should be at the axis. An axis will be midway, which is half of 0 and 4, which is 2, right? So what we find here is that maximum area is at the y value of of 2, right? See, so this y value, right? So in this case, we are writing area as terms of y and we are actually writing y here, okay? This variable name is y, okay? Don't confuse with x and y axis. The independent variable is y for us. So for y equals to 2, we get the maximum area. Now if y is 2, what is the value of x? We can substitute here, right? We can find that value also. So if y is 2, x is equals to uh, 3 over 4 times 4 minus the y value, which is 2, which is 3 over 4 times 4 minus 2 is 2, right? So we could write this as 3 over 2. That is x value. Now the question is, find the maximum area of the inscribed rectangle. So we got x and y values. We know the formula, right? So we can write the maximum area A is equal to 2 times the x value, which is 3 over 2, times the y value, which is 2, right? So that gives us 2 and 2 cancels. 3 times 2 is 6. The units are meters squared. Do you see that? So that is how we could find the maximum area. You could also substitute this value here and find maximum area for A as the value in Y is 2. So if I substitute here, I get minus 3 over 2 times 2 times 2 minus 4. Do you get it? It is also 6, the same thing. So we could do it either way, right? So from here, we know that the dimensions of the rectangle are 2 times x, right? So 2 times x is 3. So so the maximum area, let me write maximum area, is 6 meters square. We have not asked for the maximum dimension. Sometimes it will be. So it will be 2 times 3 over 2, which is 3. So it is 3 meters by 2 meters, right? So that becomes the dimension of the inscribed rectangle, which will have maximum area. I hope this example helps you to understand the basic concept. First step, of course, is to find the right formulas. 
relate the variables and then solve as we did here. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.